think that this will be really, really great for all those kids who love cars and who just love watching things go incredibly fast and could only imagine what it would be like in real life. The whole world's going in slow motion, baby. Whoa. I think the way that they portray uh, the Indianapolis Speedway itself, just visually and the cars, is uh, actually very realistic. I think the film does a great job in supporting what Chevrolet is doing in, in IndyCar racing. We have a Chevrolet-themed Indy race car. The Pace car is the new Corvette Stingray. So the Camaro that's represented in the film, which uh, is a highly customized version of a ZL1 Camaro. You've got a blower and a supercharger poking through the hood of the car. A lot of body work, very aggressive wheel package. You have to keep in mind that this vehicle is really in an animated world. Camaro at times can be a bit of a sleeper car, you know, unassuming, you know, but understated. At the same time, a lot of horsepower, a lot of grunt, and a lot of heart, just like turbo. Chevy's been around racing for a long time. Not just that, but setting the standards out on the streets with, with awesome cars. And the way that, we, that DreamWorks did the movie, that you guys are going to feel like you're driving a Chevy inside the car. In one of the key moments in the film, Turbo actually gets sucked into the engine of the car. And through that process, as it goes through the pistons and the cylinders and the crankshafts and all that good stuff inside an engine, he ends up getting what we'll call turboized in the process. And as he comes out the exhaust, he realizes he has this incredible speed and, and power. The Camaro really provides that moment for him that really changes his life and allows him to, to really achieve his goal. If you love the Chev Camaro, you're gonna love this movie.